It's, uh, it's a nice platform. Really, really like it. Can't wait to get it. Pretty get cozy it going again. too. Yeah. So wait, what did you say was going right here? That's going to be the beer fridge. It's the first nice weekend of spring. I'm talking sunny skies and an average temperature above freezing. The forecast calls for clear skies both Friday and Saturday night. But the difference this time is I won't be in the backyard. In fact, I won't even be in the country. That's because I'm traveling to Neef, the Northeast Astronomy Forum. It's the largest astronomy and space expo in the world. There's going to be over 120 astronomy related vendors full of telescope and astrophotography equipment. You might say that it's the ultimate astrophotography toy store and I'll be right there in the middle of it all with my buddy Steve. Ready to rock? So I hope you come along for the ride as I talk to some of the most influential people in the astronomy hobby and drool over some of the latest gear. This is Neve 2018. arrived it's Saturday the first day of Neef uh, it's about 8 30 in the morning and uh, me and Steve will be heading over in about uh, 20 minutes or so last night was amazing I got a chance to meet some of the uh, big vendors at the event uh, Celestron, Explore Scientific, Lasmandy, Skywatcher uh, those guys are really great and uh, some of them recognize me from YouTube anyways let's get going oh yeah Mr. Coffee might be a cool spot to set up for a shot tonight. Well, just got in the door. See a lot of exciting stuff down there. This should be interesting. Here we go. Too much. It's too much. I'm just at the Ioptron booth and I recognize a few things. Like this little guy. And this guy. Oh, and the Photron 6 inch RC, which I still have to use. So I found my telescope. It's just the bigger version, quite a bit bigger actually, with the FPL 53 glass. This is the ED 165. That's a telescope. Look who I finally met. This is William from William Optics. Hello. And he's got his new products here. The 61, 73, brand new 81. And the diffraction spike Batnoff mask. The most cool one. So I'm just here with STC Optical. And uh, William Hello. is explaining Anyone? here how it works with these filters. <laughs> And the most amazing thing, these are the clip filters here, and those are the, uh, the mounted filters. This wavelength graph here, the missing parts are associated with, with, with artificial light, with light pollution. So like sodium lights, street lamps are right there, and then two other known sources of city light pollution are cut out. But it captures everything else. Tell me that's not perfect for shooting deep sky in the city. And uh, this one is the one you see. Thank you. 
And that's the duo narrow band, yes. H alpha O3. So H alpha and then uh, O3, yeah. Yes. Unbelievable. Just collecting the, the, the data you want and nothing else. Unbelievable. It's 90% astrophotographers here, and people that are here, it's all guys like us that are uh, a lot of backyard imagers, and guys are showing me pictures of their uh, personal observatories, uh, getting some ideas here. This probably shouldn't surprise you seeing this. So I talked to uh, William for a while. He's got a lot of exciting new stuff, and uh, really cool. He hooked me up with um, STC Optical, the company that makes the uh, duo narrowband uh, filter and uh, man they can do anything basically he said you tell me the light waves that you want to cut out um, for your particular light pollution and uh, I'll make a filter that can handle that I've probably been to realistically four or five booths to, to, to talk and the, ha the day is half gone because you get in these long conversations if you don't come to Neef uh, you're really missing out. I don't care where in the country you're from. I came from Canada even though it was a short flight, but uh, this is this is a yearly thing now, so uh, just uh, blown away with the people here at Neef. So I had a good talk with Ioptron about how the Sky Tracker and the Sky Guider Pro are the ultimate entryway from the photography world into astrophotography uh, because it opens the door to long exposure track shots of uh, the Milky Way and then with the Sky Guider Pro you can get a small telescope on there and start doing deep sky uh, and from the sounds of it that's the road a lot of people have taken uh, seeing my results. So. I'm happy to be that uh, that entry point into the hobby, and then it grows from there. Celestron I actually talked to some of their team, and uh, they really like what I'm doing, and uh, they're definitely putting uh, their best effort forward to start communicating more with the uh, with the customers and creating video content. Uh, so that was really that was really great to hear. That's the direction they're taking. Also, Skywatcher was really impressed me. They have they do a lot of outreach, and they've got a great team there. Um, I talked to one gentleman from Skywatcher who mentioned uh, that he's been imaging for, I think he said, pretty much every night for the last two weeks. I can appreciate that. That's someone that really loves the hobby. He's not just trying to sell gear. He's, uh, he's in it for the same reason we all are. It's funny, I've had a few people already just because I'm mingling with the, uh, the dealers. They're just like, what do you do? Who are you? And all I keep saying is, I have a YouTube channel. 